those decades we were at the bottom of the human development index. So I always say to people, if what we're saying about poverty reduction, uh, transformation is true, let's test some of that in the poorest of the poor. Yep. And thank God for 20 years, uh, many, many donors supported uh, initiatives through UNIDO in that country because of me and since I left, uh, we've not seen the projects coming in. It's four years. Dr. So, so it makes a difference. Dr. Yom Kala, you know, uh, you, you're not the, the first top-ranking uh, international civil servant who uh, has come back home to, to run for high office. Uh, people on the ground, including opposing contenders, they have lived the pain and, 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 and the struggle of the masses. Uh, therefore, they might legitimately claim to be closer to the issues that matter to the people more than you could ever be. They could claim that, but that's for the people to decide. I have been there now physically two years on the ground, and I tell you I have made a difference. I have shaken that political establishment because why? Wherever I go, the people come out. They're looking for new ideas. They say much, much has not changed. We're, you know, still, as, as we're still among the poorest of the poor. Uh, as so, you know what the young people are saying now? New face. They say, if we have only known extreme poverty for over two decades, if our educational system is crumbling, maybe we need something new. Are they new saying ideas, that because they know you would be happy to hear that? I've come no, no, a lot of elections no, no, around the country. No, no, no. They're not saying it's Every just political to me. rally they're, that you go to, young people to turn out in your team in numbers, it accounts for it, nothing. It is not only day. to me. These are talk shows. When they're doing talk shows, people are phoning in. Yeah? Um, they're, they're the artists now. They're making records almost every month about change, a new face, a new direction. Sponsored by you? No. Uh, they do it. They do it uh, uh, at will. Some people are sending Facebook. They say, "Hey, we check this guy out. We wish he can he can lead because it's about change eh? and change." Sometimes Einstein used to say, but "Change for what? No, change for the better." Um, uh, Seventy percent of that population is still below two dollars a day. Um, you have almost seventy percent youth unemployment. Change has to happen. It has to happen fast. The scale and speed of change is crucial now given the conditions I see in that country. If, if, Significant if, if, youth if, employ unemployment if, if, that could yeah, lead, yeah, we should talk about, could lead we, to instability. We, we should talk about joblessness in just a moment, but if people are earning less than $2 a day today, uh, what would they be earning under a Dr. Yomkala presidency? What is, your, what is your commitment? Yeah, hopefully, if we work together with the private sector, hopefully, hopefully we manage our economy well with macro stability, we bring some, in some additional foreign direct investment to partner with our local businessmen and support them and facilitate. I hope we can move them to middle income status, at least put them on the path. With what kind Remember, of jobs? What kind of jobs are you looking at creating? Uh, uh, Let's talk about three go, areas of Good of skill work. job. For example, IT. I see what the Kenyans are doing now in creating IT hubs. It's happening also in Nigeria and Ghana. Our kids are hungry for that kind of digital uh, uh, um, investment in the digital sector, tourism. So, it, it, hold on, just hold on a second. That would require heavy investment in uh, uh, underground cables, providing the satellite technology, some, et cetera, to support that kind of yeah. uh, 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 sector. Some of that foundation has been laid. Yeah, so you don't change everything you've met. Some of that fi foundation has been laid with fiber optic, but now it's developing the value-added services. Yeah, bringing in more IT, IT companies into the country, but also the skills. Pushing for more IT education within schools and within the university so people live with the skills. Attracting people who want to do software programming and so on. That's what the Kenyans have done over time. But also they worked with Safaricom. So we worked with our telecom companies to be able to create such an IT hub. You attract a lot of students and you, you can add value to, to, to your GDP. You've talked about so, IT. What yeah, is tour, the tourism is, work that they want to develop? Tourism is another one. Yeah. Uh, again here, fortunately, some of the hotels are being built now, but it is rebranding our country and marketing it properly. Third, agribusiness. 70% of our population is still in the rural areas. Uh, we have still fertile land. The investments coming in now, not at the speed and scale that we all want, but some are beginning to trickle in to invest in agribusiness, developing those supply chains, opening up the infrastructure so to reduce the cost of doing business, to link farmers to markets. Those are three key priorities that you have to do. But all of them would not work if you don't have good investments in the energy sector. And there, of course, one has a lot of networks around the world. That's where I spent the last uh, six, seven years of my life at the UN advocating for investments in energy. So what's the plan? Have you thought, uh, for example, have you thought of, do you have any numbers? How much do you plan to spend 
uh, in, in providing the energy that Sierra we're, Leone we're, needs? We're and, crun- and what, what, is the, what is the strategy? We're crunching, we're crunching those numbers now. Um, we are now, based on government figures, at probably 20 25% electrification rate. So you can see how far behind we are. Um, we need to do two things. We need to push for distributive energy as well. These are uh, localized renewable energy sources that will help communities. Basic lighting, water pumping, irrigation. But then we need the grid-based solutions. More investments in hydropower, but also some thermal energy. And again, um, with good macro policies, incentives, and uh, confidence, I have goodwill and partners around the world who have seen me do this over time. I believe they're, they're poised that if I have the opportunity to lead the energy sector, they know will be a top priority. Uh, what is your plan to reduce uh, the gap between, you know, Freetown and the rest of the country? Because once you get out of Freetown, the story is the, the contrast is so stark. This is where, again, the, the, the notion of agribusiness development becomes crucial. We have to do local economic development. There's something the Ghanaians are doing now that I'm watching closely. I'll be visiting soon. Uh, the new concept of one, one, one district, one, one, one industry. Uh, we are watching that. We are so. watching that very closely, but I see it similar to another concept that Thai, the Indonesians, 